Remember how simple toys used to be when Grandpa was a boy? Junior has changed all that. Now he thinks in terms of jets and helicopter rotors. 51 experimental models of this helicopter were built before its hinged rotors were deemed airworthy enough to satisfy the modern boy. To power the helicopter, two wartime rocket experts designed a jet motor which they claimed to be the smallest in the world. Now they test it for thrust. Heat from the igniter wick passes to a solid fuel charge within and the gas which it generates is forced into the outer air with a thrust so great that the unit could drive a model car at no less than 40 miles an hour. Now to see for ourselves what these mid-century toys can do. The problem which faced the designers of the helicopter was not how to get it into the air, but how to get it to land in one piece. Two tiny jet motors mounted at right angles to the rotor are fired together. Contact, and yes, she's away. But will she land safely? Francis Borum, an inspector of aircraft, spent many anxious months before he hit on the solution. The secret lies in the rotor hinges, which alter the angle of the blade, thus making it continue to spin as the helicopter descends. A more orthodox design this time. They call it a Dürer jet. It's a model with a 36-inch wingspan and capable of a 20-minute flight under good weather conditions. Nothing will hold them back now. Here goes a flying wing. If ever they build a flying saucer, there'll be a crack in the Milky Way. <laughs> 